All right, I got a new toy, guys. Not new toy, new tool. This was sent to me by a company. They wanted me to review it. And it's a 180 degree two-way. You can see here, it flips one way and then it flips the other way, whatever you want. Um, articulating industrial bore scope. They use it for construction, plumbing, aircraft, automotive. Um, let's flip this around here. This product is an industrial endoscope. It's not intended for medical use or human examination. Here's the name. Here's the model number. Very nicely packaged. Just take it out. It's got a very nice carrying case. All right. So under the strap, pull this. Oh, looky here. There's the monitor, the screen. There's the the wand, the borescope cord, or a camera setup. Here is probably the charge cable and some lenses, a uh, cleaning brush, some different shaped lenses, some different adapters inside here. Cleaning wipes, cleaning Q-tips, optical lens cleaning material. So it's a cleaning wipe kit. Some instructions over here. Instruction manual. I'm gonna put this together real quick to show you guys what it looks like. Here I've got it. What it, what it does is it slides together on the base and then you flip this little lock down and it holds it on the actual handle. And this articulating wand right here, you see how it's making the camera movement change? It's very easy to adjust. really cool you can take video with it you can zoom in and out with it you see here I'm gonna do my face as an example you can push the, the button right here which is the light button and you can change the intensity of the light very nice it's a very nice unit a very nice setup and then in the corner here you can take a picture with this button here in the corner hold it down and it will take a picture of whatever you needed to take a picture of You can switch between the different camera positions. So like you're looking at my face right now. There, I switched it to where it's the right side up. This flips the screen. This is really freaking cool. And the, the quality of the camera is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. Let's pull the vehicle in so we can see how it looks in a, inside an engine. You know how sometimes whenever you're inspecting brakes, you can't really see the thickness of the pad? Well, I've got the camera over here. I've got it set up. And I'm using one hand to do this, mind you. I'm going to stick this in here, and I'm going to articulate it.
Now I can see the thickness of my brake pad right there. That's probably a good 50-60% plus. So these brakes are still good. Sometimes you can't see in there. You can't get a tool in there. And then you got to pull the wheel and everything else off. What if you had something like this where... Let me turn this a little bit. Something like this where you could go in here, stick the camera next to that and see, oh, wow, I got I got 40, 50% brake pad right there too. There's still quite a ways. I don't got to change these right now. What if you wanted to look at the exhaust manifold bolts and you couldn't see everything clearly and instead of pulling this whole entire fender liner off, you could take the wand of this and stick it in there and actually look and see your exhaust manifold bolts. I mean, it's a high def camera. You can see oh, the exhaust manifold bolt there is good. No leaks anywhere. You can look for other hoses in tight spots if you may have to inspect like AC lines or something like that. Very high def. A 2019 Tahoe that we took on trade and it's in very good shape. It's only got 89,000 miles on it. And I was thinking about actually purchasing it. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Probably not going to because of the way the economy is right now. But one of the things that I wanted to see was I wanted to actually look inside the engine. I wanted to see how it looks inside there. And I can see all that right here. Down in there now and I can articulate this and kind of look back and forth at those rockers. I can look I can I can move this in and out. I can look down at some of the other rockers right next to it and see the inside of this engine is extremely clean. At a peak, you know, at the back of the engine to look for a leak or something like that, I could take this thing and I could stick it back in here. And then I can move and articulate this back and forth and look at the hose connections and stuff on the back of the engine to see if that's where my leak's coming from. But I can check the connections, like I'm over here by the throttle body, like right behind it, you see the camera back there? You see it moving back and forth? I can see that whole area in there. I can fish this thing everywhere. Look, this is really a high def, it's a really good high def camera. If I wanted to try to inspect for a crack in my windshield washer reservoir because it was leaking out, you know, once I put I could take this down in there and I could articulate it and look back and forth to see the side of the plastic wall to see if it looked like it was cracked anywhere or fill it up to where it starts pouring out and then you can identify where the crack is once you get to that point. If you guys end up wanting access to this bore scope, it's going to be pinned to the top comment in the comment section. Check it out, get you one, high def, super nice quality, I've used it almost every day so far either looking at something trying to diagnose something it is an awesome tool and it's very rugged for what it is y'all be blessed take care